We are here for another Tech Tip Tuesday. I would like to talk about how we control the RPMs and the truck from the pump side of the system. Most people will notice that when you speed up your system, no one of those release light up. But when you throttle down, when you go RPM minus, you will see the light lighting up in 4K50. The way it works is we are sending a signal from the pump to the cruise control of any of the brand of the trucks we are using. The way it works is, so we're gonna go with 4K50 and the system for the RPM plus, it will be between this wire and this wire that is connected when the relay is off. The signal between this wire and this wire is active when the relay is on. To the bottom line, it's normally closed. You don't need power, it will be active all the time and in contact. From the bottom to the top line, it's normally open. You need to activate the relay, which disconnect the bottom one, normally closed, and connect the top one, normally open. So, because we have to be careful when we throttle down for any reason, we use a relay. The relay will send a signal for the e-stop, for throttle down, to make sure that everything stops when you hit the e-stop or when you throttle down completely from the car. If you have a standard truck, and the fact that you push the clutch or you release the brake, it will activate the signal and that will force the truck to slow down to RPM minus to idle. So when you need to work in the RPMs, the new system or the old system always work with 4K50. Throttle down, it has to be active. Throttle up, the speed up, it always be within the wires that they are normally closed. If you need more information, you can find it in your document. And if you need help troubleshooting and following all the wiring to get to this point from the remote or the rear panel, and the new systems like uh, pumps uh, from 2015, 16, 17, 18, the signal came out of the radio remote panel. It goes straight to X08 or in the newer ones through K107 first but it's always the signal coming out in RPM plus from the remote control. There is signal that goes to 4K50 for the RPM minus turning on the 4K50. And the old system, the signal X08 will go to the terminal number one, which is the one in the bottom, to terminal number, terminal number one on top and terminal number one in the bottom, which is normally closed. The one for RPM minus is normally open. It won't get active until this wire or this connection get connected in the relay itself. And the newer system is identical how it's going to work. You get power and RPM plus will be on all the time. It will be connected all the time. RPM minus only will send the signal when the relay 4K50 get active.